hello there welcome back to my channel my name is sheriff Hart and i'm based in nova scotia in canada on my youtube channel i just share my personal experiences also i do a bit of immigration about canada because i'm a regulated canadian political consultant and rcic i help you with your visa application to come to canada either as a student permanent resident a foreign worker squad missions and things like that or for tourist attractions as well i'm your plug please reach out to me at green tear lips anyways let me see what we are here today it's a video it's a very short video I thought to share a recipe I have, my garlic and ginger recipe that I have, that I use for cooking and also for cough, for sore throat and related, you know, uh, things like that. It has to do with viral infection, you know, very mild one. So I'm not a doctor or a medical, or medical practitioner. I just thought to share this experience that I have that works for me. So please come with me. I'm going to blend these together now, the ginger and the garlic into a paste form so i have peeled uh, the back of the ginger and the garlic now i'm going to blend so let's go i may have to add some water just a little bit This is me about to blend. 7.02 in the morning. That's how bad <laughs> this is. I woke up early. I could, I could barely sleep. And it's like I'm off work today to Friday. So, so tired. So, here we go with the blending. I have to add more water. It's, it's a bit too thick. So, I have some more water. Now, besides having this as like a, a recipe that I use for cough or sore throat, I also love to have it in the house for cooking. So I don't have to, I just blend it in bulk. So I don't have to like start peeling ginger and garlic every time I, I cook or have to like blend it every time. So I already have it ready made. So this is what it looks like. So I'll pour it in this bowl now. So my garlic and ginger mixture is ready. Uh, let me note that this particular recipe is not only for when you have sore throat or cold or things like that. I also use this to cook as well. So if I'm even boiling meat or any kind of protein, I add this as part of my uh, ingredients as well. If I'm blending pepper, I add this to my pepper mixture. So this, you know, it's very good. I mean, it's it's a, it's a multi-purpose <laughs> uh, ingredient. I'm going to make some or tea now and add this to my tea and see if it can help my sore throat and my cough and my you know very terrible state of health right now <clears throat> so this morning i'm making two kinds of tea so one is the tea bag with the milk and the sugar another one is regular tea bag as well i'm adding this mixture that i made the garlic and the ginger and some pepper yeah so that's what i'm going to be using for my <clears throat> sore throat and my cough uh, I've, I've used it before and it's really helpful so i'm gonna do that right now so yeah that's it i'm making um yam and egg for myself uh, sorry not yam a uh, bread some bread and some uh, egg and for my egg i like pepper as well i added some diced pepper some dried pepper onions and the egg and then i'll have it with my bread and that's it so I've just added my pepper in there and then I'm going to add this just a, this much maybe a little bit more then I'm gonna mix it. So it's just the garlic, ginger and the dry pepper. That's how I need for this one. <clears throat> Let me have a test of it. Spicy enough. Maybe you'll be wondering that. I might put in pepper in tea. Well, it works for me, so yeah, but I like I like pepper. Even on the regular day, I like pepper. I'm, I'm a robot girl, so yeah. We love pepper. I'll add my milk in this one. I love my milk creamy. Yeah, I love my tea creamy rather. And as you saw earlier, that was like so kinds of tea that I made. One was for like my regular tea bag with milk to pair with my breakfast and the other one was specifically for my cold my cough and my sore throat that day 
cannot even imagine. I cannot even explain how I was feeling. I'd never felt that unwell in a very long time. It was quite severe. And in Canada, you cannot go to the doctor and say you have cough for sore throat. You probably stay in the emergency for hours. <laughs> Nobody able to kill that seriously, but I felt very unwell. I woke up, I could not even sleep. I woke up around 7 a.m. that day. It was a holiday. I think it was Thanksgiving. I know it was a remembrance uh, weekend, I think. So there was no work, there was no school. You know, so I was home, you know, throughout that day. I, I could not sleep. I woke up quite early. I could barely sleep. I'm like, I had to, like, look for something for myself. I'd used all kinds of medication prior. I didn't see any difference. It was like a day or two. I'd gone through them. Like, let me just, I just remember that, oh, I used to use this thing and it used to work for me. So I went, I blended and it worked, you know, like magic for me. As I thought to, you know, share with you guys. So breakfast is ready for me. Uh, this is 7.31 a.m. I really don't wake up this early, particularly if it's like it's a work free day for me. It's holiday today, is Remembrance Day in Canada and in Nova Scotia. It's an all it's holiday that we observe. Could barely sleep, but like I felt very unwell. I thought to come and make this uh, this cough remedy that I usually take, and then I thought to also have breakfast uh, alongside so I can just take it and then go and sleep and see if I can have a sound sleep. So while I ate my breakfast, I thought to see a movie on Netflix. I just chose this one randomly. It's not like a particular reason why I chose it. I just I like Bisola for one and even Timini as well. So let's see if it's interesting. And yeah, that's it. I like I envisage the recipe worked like magic. I feel better afterward and had a sound sleep. Yeah, so you could try it as well. I'm not a doctor. I'm just, you know, prescribing. I'm just recommending what I use that worked for me. Please don't say I'm, I'm you know, giving you a prescription. No, please follow your doctor's prescription and advice. I thought to share my experience with this recipe. Aside the cough and in sore throat, uh, it's really, really good when it comes to cooking. Like, you can't go wrong adding ginger and garlic to some of your food. Like, your proteins, your meat, your chicken when you're boiling it. And even when you're boiling your pepper, you can always put ginger and garlic in it. It has this very extra special taste to your food. Trust me on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself and be good. Show kindness, show love. And don't touch the word to your chest. Take care. Bye.